clouds? You got a request from a friend. This request is from Kevin. From Bekasi in Indonesia, Kevin asks, why do clouds have different shapes and sizes? That's a great question! Let's find out! Clouds are made up of lots of minuscule water droplets. And sometimes, clouds are even made up of tiny ice crystals. As you go up in the sky, the temperature gets colder. Temperature and altitude affect the shape of clouds. Clouds that are high up in the sky are made from ice crystals because of the very cold temperatures of the atmosphere. The different high-level clouds are cirrus clouds, which are thin and wispy. Cirrocumulus clouds are small, patchy clouds that are often arranged in rows. And cirrostratus clouds that are thin, transparent sheets across the sky. Mid-level clouds are made from both ice and water. Middle clouds include altocumulus clouds, which are grayish-white and dot the skies. Altocumulus clouds are about the size of your thumb. Altostratus clouds are gray or sometimes bluish-gray and will partially or even completely cover the sky. Nimbostratus clouds are a dark gray layer thick enough to block out the sun. These clouds produce lots of rain or snow. Low clouds form closer to the Earth's surface and are made from water droplets. Here there is a higher concentration of dust which causes the clouds in the lower level to be thicker and heavier. The lowest clouds in the atmosphere include stratocumulus clouds. Stratocumulus clouds are low, lumpy, whitish, grayish clouds. They look similar to altocumulus clouds, but are different because stratocumulus clouds are about the size of your fist. Stratus clouds are the lowest forming clouds and are typically seen near coastlines and around mountains. Stratus clouds are flat, thick, and dark. Cumulus clouds are puffy clouds. They often have flat bases and rounded tops that look like cauliflower. Cumulonimbus clouds are the biggest types of clouds. They are spread out across the low, middle, and high levels of the atmosphere. They are a much larger version of cumulus clouds, but are usually flat on the bottom and the top. If you see a cumulonimbus cloud, it probably means that a thunderstorm is coming because they are the only clouds that can produce thunder and lightning.
What an amazing drawing! Let's see who it's from! This great drawing is from Ashlyn! Ashlyn is five years old and lives in Indiana in the United States! Thank you, Ashlyn, for your awesome drawing! You can send Odie your drawing by tagging Odie on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Or by emailing Odie a copy of your drawing. Don't forget to subscribe to Odie's channel and watch more videos like the one you just saw.